there's a beautiful symmetry that melds NCAA Football 12 with its real-life counterpart. The collegiate football organization has been hesitant to make major changes to commonly derided aspects, such as how a champion is determined, and their digital effects simile replicates the same stick-in-the-mud approach. The latest entry in the long-running series feels virtually identical to last year's offering, adding so few features and tweaks you'll be assaulted with a blast at deja vu. That's not necessarily a bad thing, as the on-the-field action is as lifelike as you would expect, but the myriad modes surrounding the core experience waver between tedious and boring, bearing the appeal of amateur football behind an impenetrable sea of menus. And the ball game's over, and our final score in this one, Ohio State 21, California 10. Here's a look at today's Player of the Game. If you want your athlete salary-free and spitting with pride, there's still a top-notch simulator here, but there's little reason to jump into NCAA Football 12 if you already own last year's game. The most important aspect of a sports sim is the actual gameplay, and NCAA 12 shines in that regard. The core action has been iterated upon for a number of years, and that refinement leads to the most realistic portrayal of the college game yet. This is especially apparent in non-glamorous aspects, such as blocking and artificial intelligence. Your offensive line smartly reacts to blitzing players before they can blow up your play, and the secondary is smart enough to swat weak passing attempts to the ground. Unfortunately, although that refinement has led to an impressive representation of the real thing, the stagnant visuals are showing their age. Animations look particularly dated. There have been two versions of Backbreaker released in the last year, most recently Vengeance for the Xbox Live Arcade and the advanced animations in those games are far beyond what you see in NCAA 12. You really feel the crack of hits in Backbreaker. In NCAA 12, players weakly crumple to the ground, which lessens the savage thrill of rocking a surging running back. There are other visual quirks in NCAA 12 that offer more distractions. The grass has a hazy, murky look that's woefully out of place, and a persistent bug turns the receiver's route lines into dancing, squiggly lines. Despite the graphical problems, the core action is still a lot of fun. However, the stuff surrounding the on-the-field brutality is mired in problems. Dynasty mode lets you build a second-rate school into a national power, and there's an undeniable satisfaction in climbing the mountain. But the nuts and bolts behind this process aren't compelling. Recruiting is particularly weak. You have to wade through a wall of menus to find the options you need, and even after you figure out what to do, it's not very interesting. Players offer illogical responses all the time, which makes the interview process very unrealistic. For instance, a player may say he's interested in coach prestige. When you try to sell him on your awesomeness, he might respond, More talk about you? Boring! And even if these baffling responses don't bother you, you still have to perform the same tedious actions for dozens of minutes every virtual week to land the best players. It's a thankless task that bogs down the whole experience. The other major mode in NCAA 12 is Road to Glory. In this mode, you create a high school star and try to make your way onto a big-time college program. For the first time, you can have a two-way player. If you're a quarterback who likes to get dirty, you can roam the field as a linebacker as well, and you're recruited separately for both positions. If you perform well in high school, you can get a full scholarship for your higher learning, though this process isn't as strict as it sounds. In one season, we performed so poorly that no school wanted us. Even with our incompetence, we walked on to Texas and started the first game of the season. This is impossible for every program. There are times when you can only be a backup or third string and have to work for the starting job. But it's still ridiculous that an unwanted recruit could start for such a prestigious university from the opening snap of the season. NCAA Football 12 is still a good game because the on-field action is top-notch but the features and modes surrounding that experience have lots of issues. If you just want to relive the glory days of your favorite school, there's a lot of fun to be had either matching wits against a computer or your friends in head-to-head -head competitions, but don't expect the other parts to be nearly as interesting.